This was so embarrassing. Um, in the last video, I was looking at this camera the whole time. Um, we have two cameras set up. The second camera is simply set up to record Chad's audio. I was so sick and so out of it in the last video. I, I, I wasn't even going to be in the last video. And the whole time, I thought we were shooting on that camera. Uh, and then I realized literally at the very end that I was looking at the wrong camera and um, I felt like a really big dunce, but Chad and I weren't about to reshoot the whole thing. I needed to probably go back to bed and like throw up or something. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I, I, I know which camera to look at. I'm looking at you. We're looking at that one. No, we're not. Hello everybody and welcome to another new episode of Dream Home Reno here on the Clean My Space channel. Episode number four to be exact. This is episode number four and I know some of you feel like we've really been schlepping it out but I have to hand it to Chad. He probably filmed like five or six weeks worth of renovations and moving day in day out. So he has a lot of footage he has to scrub through to pick out the elements of the story that we think are gonna be most interesting to you. So thank you all for your patience. This is a really good episode because we finally get to reveal our hardwood floors. And we're also gonna show you a couple little updates on the bathroom. So here we go. Okay, so who even thought trim was a thing? But we really had to think about what trim to pick. And what we learned is there are various different or a variety of different profiles that you can look at. Something more flat and without much bumps or wiggles is sort of more modern and then there's the more traditional approach. And the existing trim that we had in the house was from like the mid 80s when they had very very thin trim I guess was kind of in. So we got a bit of a fatter trim in there and I think it was well worth all the effort. Yeah and another interesting thing we learned is that people aren't getting quarter round these days. They're getting a flatter version. I believe it's called a shoe mold. So if you are are doing some updates. Have a look at that. Meanwhile in the garage some cement is being mixed and you may ask why is cement being mixed? Well if you follow through to our bathroom you will see Igor feverishly working at leveling our floor. Every single wall, every single flat surface including the floor was crooked or warped or way off of being square. So a lot of cement was laid down to ensure that we had a nice level surface to work with. Now this is the guest bathroom. These are the tiles that we ended up choosing for this bathroom. Uh, we went with a ceramic matte option that has a Calicutta marble look to it and it was way less money. It was such a good option. Looks gorgeous. And now as we head back to our ensuite, you will see that the heated floors have been installed. Yay, heated floors. And some tiles are about to go down onto the floor. And now we have a special delivery. Each of the rooms have new hardwood floors ready to be installed. But as you'll see, the, the hardwood floors are sitting in boxes in each room. And the reason they're doing that is to acclimate to the space and the uh, moisture content in the air. That's the only way that you can install floors. You can leave it in a room from 48 hours up to even a week before you install them. So that's what they were doing here. And uh, this guy in the blue shirt, his name also happens to be Igor. Igor number three, Igor number four. I've lost count of Igors. Anyway, he was floor Igor. And what he started doing was sanding down the floorboards to make sure that everything was nice and even. Now the installation of our hardwood floors began all the way up through the middle of the house. He started at the stairs and worked his way essentially to the left, as you can kind of see. But basically he ran from one side of the house to the other side of the house and then built off of that 
to lay all the hardwood floors. Now you can see the beautiful light natural oak color that we went for. It's got a little bit of a variance which has a nice natural uh, look, foresty, primal look to it instead of something that's super uniform, which we thought would actually complement our space much better. And that was something that was really important to us. We wanted hardwood floors that had the most natural looking that color sort of to them. lived in, you know? Yeah. Now, not only are these floors beautiful to look at, but they're also super strong. And one of the reasons why we wanted to work with Armstrong so badly is because we know this Diamond 10 technology. It's something that allows for the scratch, stain, and scuff resistance, which is really important for us in a home with a young child. And, you know, obviously we focus on cleaning, but at the same time, we want to make sure that, you know, if something falls on the floor, we're not going to have a dent for life. And that's why we really love these floors that are actually infused with cultured diamonds. So there you have it, a couple days later, room by room, Igor got to it and laid all of these gorgeous hardwood floors. I love the variance in the floor. To this day, it's like looking at a piece of art. You, you always see something different every time you look at the floors. And huh? all the beautiful irregularities yeah. and nuances of each of the planks. And if you like the floors, we'll put everything up on the source guide at cleanmyspace.com so you can check them out. As soon as the floors were laid, they needed to be covered up. And the reason why they need to be covered up is because they need to be protected from the painters. Simultaneously, as things were going on at the new house, we still had to wrap things up at the old house. It's really interesting when you see all of your items being stacked up in boxes and wrapped and packaged and moved onto a truck. It does make you think about each and every item and whether or not it's important to you and if you like it or not. However, every single item in our house fit into a 26 foot long cube van, which was kind of crazy to see a truck rumbling down the street with all your worldly possessions in it. And even though it felt like moving was the most intense work we had that day, it was actually the post-move cleanup that was even more exhausting. It was really important to us that we left the house in great shape for the new owners. So we took the time to make the house look right. So luckily we had a two day moving process. The first day is when the movers showed up and moved all the larger pieces out. And the second day is when we cleaned our house top to bottom. It was exhausting. You know, did we watch a Clean My Space video to get some inspo that day? I think we may have. <laughs> I remember the day that we moved into this house and how different it looked. We had peach paint on the wall. We didn't have that light fixture. And just to think about everything that happened in that very room. Oh, and we left a little bit of champagne for the, uh, the newcomers and a couple of cups and a nice card. And of course, the Melissa Maker Touch, always make sure that you have fresh baking soda in your fridge. There you go, you guys. Hope you enjoy your new fridge. Oh, and I cleared out the water bottle too. And that was it. We finished up in our bedroom and then just took a few moments to reflect on the memories of this room. Thank you.
back in the new CMS HQ. Look, our floors are good to go. And if you look very closely, you might see some tiles on the wall. We decided to go with this super clean white hex pattern. We wanted something kind of simple and understated, but still classic in design. What do you guys think? Do you approve of these tiles? And in the master bathroom, we not only have heated floors, but we have beautiful new tiles on the floor. These are oversized slate gray tiles. And now they're covered up because we have tiles going on the wall. And then the electrician stopped by to install pot lights in all of the pot light holes. Chad, what else were they gonna put in the pot light holes? Well, that's a good point. We headed over to Riley's bedroom to have a look at it and figure out where we were going to put all of the furniture and start to think about paint colors. It was such a cute room to set up. Here's a quick look at our guest room and over here in the main hallway, all of the floors are now covered to protect them from paint splatters. If you're curious about what that suited up spray painter was doing, we'll get into that in episode five where we cover off all the paint colors in the house. But that is gonna bring this video to the end. And before we wrap up, because we still have a few things to cover off, I do wanna thank Armstrong Flooring very, very much for supplying us with the absolutely stunning floors that they did. Um, I will have all the info up for you on our source guide over at cleanmyspace.com. If you love the floors and you're interested in checking them out yourself, you can also visit their website, armstrongflooring.com. Again, huge thank you to Armstrong. We reached out to a whole bunch of our friends and brands that we have worked with in the past. Armstrong was the first one to get back to us and say, yes, we want to support you. We want to work with you for the Dream Home Reno program. We cannot thank them enough. If you guys are looking for hardwood floors, please go out and support them. They are awesome and their product has held up and it looks beautiful. Will you be using slash replacing the central vacuum that came with the house? So at first, uh, the central vac scared me in our old house. We kind of had a bad experience with it and I'm still a little bit apprehensive about central vacs but it's convenient, especially because the hose is so long and this is a very long house. So I haven't minded using it, especially on the hardwood floors. That all to say, um, I'm still very happy to use a regular plug and vacuum. So I guess we mix up our vacuuming life. I like the, I like the vacuum actually. I think it's really handy. You would. Mm, I would. What did you do about all the insulation that was removed from the ceiling? Donated to the Insulation Repurposing Society. You can look that up online. It's the IRS, not that IRS, another one, dot org. And um, they accept all insulation from all over the world. So give them a ring. No, no, they don't. It was thrown away and we replaced it with new blow in insulation because as it turns out, Melissa, there's no such thing as recycling <laughs> for insulation. I wish there were, but there's not. Why is Melissa looking at a different camera? Oh God, this was so embarrassing. Um, in the last video, I was looking at this camera the whole time. Um, we have two cameras set up. The second camera is simply set up to record Chad's audio. I was so sick and so out of it in the last video. I, I, I wasn't even gonna be in the last video. And the whole time I thought we were shooting on that camera. Uh, and then I realized literally at the very end that I was looking at the wrong camera. And um, I felt like a really big dunce, but Chad and I weren't about to reshoot the whole thing. I needed to probably go back to bed and like throw up or something. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I, I, I know which camera to look at. I'm looking at you. We're looking at that one. No, we're not. You specifically told me it was the left one. That's it, but we would love to hear your comments. You can leave them down. Yeah, just whip an iPad. Yeah, Don't well, worry about it's it. It's on a couch, so it's fine. 
You can leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your favorite color of hardwood floor is. There you go. Talk about that in the comments. I would like to find out because I love the natural wood color that we went with. But what do you guys like? Yeah, you know, some, sorry, I just totally cut chat off. Who cares what he has to say? People love dark hardwood floors. Uh, one of the biggest criticisms of dark is that you can see everything on them, but yes, they look so gorgeous. Gray's really popular right now, actually. Yes. So Red, like that uh, cherry color floor is also really popular. Kind of an orangey floor, similar to what we had in the old house. There's a whole rainbow of hardwood. So there you go. We're doing a poll in the comments. What are your favorite color of hardwood floors? And just let us know your general questions about the reno process. Uh, anything that you're curious about or something that you see around the house, uh, we might answer it in, a, in another video or you might be able to find that info on the source guide or maybe someone else watching can answer the question as well or maybe Chad when he launches a video and he sits there and answers your questions when he gets a chance. Episode 5 is coming out very, 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 very soon. Thanks for watching everybody and we will see you next time.